Alright, so I know I've done a couple of these types of videos lately, so I'm sorry if you're sick of them, but sometimes I just see things and I just, I just gotta respond. Here goes, a group of college students invented a nail polish that changes colors when it comes into contact with date rape drugs such as roofies. The way it works is it enables you to test your drink. You just put your finger in, you stir it around, and if it stays the same color, you're good. Ooh. If it changes color, somebody is trying to drug you. And nope, not happening. Of course, of course, some well-known feminists have said that it reinforces rape culture in our society. A lot of it goes back to the common complaint by many feminists that we should teach men not to rape instead of teaching women not to get raped. I've addressed this point in other videos, but the more I think about it, we need to teach men not to rape. Doesn't that imply that people who rape don't know it's wrong? I'm sorry, but especially when it comes to people sneaking date rape drugs into people's drinks. They didn't know that wasn't okay. They didn't think, oh, it's wrong to drug somebody into unconsciousness so I could have my way with them. Men aren't taught not to rape. So the problem is ignorance? I hate that line of thinking because it actually doesn't it excuse the actions of the rapist. He was just never taught not to rape. It's not his fault. He didn't see a problem with forcing himself upon a woman against her will. He didn't get the pamphlet. Doesn't that take responsibility off the rapist? The rapist should be the only one, by the way, blamed for the rape. They are disgusting and worthless people. Don't make excuses for them. One feminist who doesn't like the nail polish said, I shouldn't have to test my drink at the bar. That's not the world I want to live in. Then don't. I probably want to buy this, but I especially understand a woman who has been roofied in the past wanting to buy this nail polish to take extra precautions against it. The world that you want to live in. Let's talk about the real world because unfortunately people do get roofied. It's happened to a couple people I know. It's a thing that is affecting people right now. And if people want to protect themselves against it, let them. But on the other side, some people say, well, women shouldn't go to bars or clubs or parties if they don't want to get roofied. I also think that's ridiculous. Reality stinks, there are bad people out there, but I don't think that means that you have to live in constant fear locked up in your dorm room and never go out, no fun whatsoever. I don't think that's healthy either. I just don't understand the outrage when something new comes out to help protect women against rape. I think it's smart to protect yourself. I also think it's smart not to rape people. But that's just my two cents.